sinister in location, run by myself, Magnum Shepherds. Shocks, le- electrocution, echoing like rocks inside a pizzeria with new construction. A building to replace an old model and renewing the face so its reputation doesn't toddle. Though it is only the substitute, being a sister of the Institute, a location may be less sinister. The performers, tall and jerky, being newcomers to a place once murky. One is a ballerina, elegant and unique, white paint with red lipstick in her busy. Pelora is her name, hiding what's inside will always remain the same, with evil to hide. She twirls around for the boys and girls with a music box sound. The next is a fox of white, not like the version of old, but with chest pink with a bow tie so light, being a fun time fox not so cold. The third is a bear the same color, best known as the pizzeria's mascot, with a shiny microphone so he hollers as he has fun where the children sought. The fourth is the next humanoid, with a big head above her chest, an android that does her best. She's fun, with an enormous smile, being the circus one, more baby than a child. Pigtails of red, with a microphone in her hand, as she thought of what she said, being happy in the band. It's always joyful at the sister location, being wonderful so the parents and children have a bit of vacation. Though, when it becomes midnight, all the people go, except one security guard with a flashlight. Things always occur at night, as the animatronics stir with eyes of flashing red light. Ballora dances, as she always does, while Funtime Foxy prances behind the animatronic so malicious. Only at night are there more causing a fright, never giving the guard a bore. He has to get up from the monitors to make sure everything is okay with electrocution shockers. The robots always act maliciously, not out of spite of a soul contract or with step movements preciously. Every five nights, it happens till six. Mechanical frights behind the pizzeria bricks. Voices echo of a young girl, so soft as the wind does go as she sits with her body in a curl. The security guard follows the sound, getting near, seeing some performing robots around with smiles that sneer. The guard comes to where she hides. There sits baby where she abides, in the storage where she may be. She whispers, tilting her head, making static receptors as baby stares up ahead. Two animatronics come up behind, silent with a small jerk, moving ever so slightly. One the fox, the other is the ballerina at work. Then does the night end, where Ballora grabs the guard for the win, making him become their next best friend. Thank y'all so much, Ajin. And this is the 103rd, I mean the 213th poem written.